Okay guys, this is Herman again in another Just My Review and as you guys can see, well, I have this guy again at uh, the TVS HX74 in my case I got the 6 spade and well, guess what we are going to do Take a guess guys Alright, let's go and open this and you guys will see what we're gonna do with this guy right here Alright my people, as you guys can see, uh, this is the Quadro uh, P2000 from NVIDIA and this is a video card as you guys know uh, and this is well the latest one recommended today as today, probably in the future is going to be different but as today 2022, this is the one, the latest one and the highest in quality from uh, QNAP and the reason why is because got a high quality this is a, a professional grade and as you guys can see this one is a thing and the reason why it's gotta be like that is because as you guys see we don't have enough room in order to install a bigger um, a video card uh, that way we're gonna be able to use the, uh, the bottom bay otherwise we gonna block that and basically it's gonna get screwed up uh, now we have to remove just this uh, piece right here we remove it the screw in the back we also gotta remove the power supply as you guys can see it's a uh, two screws right here and we got one two three four and five screws now you guys gotta watch out right here because they are different size uh, they are different thread screws if you the easiest way to do that is just put it uh, in in the hole and screw it up and if you feel some pressure and it's hard to put it in just remove it out and try it another one because uh, if I'm not wrong this one right here is it's like a one or two I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, I got it right here I got it right here as you guys can see this one is different I think is let me see if it's this one it's one of these guys right here let's see what is it, the one uh, yeah it's one of these guys but it looks the same but one is different I think hold on let me see I think it's this one probably it's this one and well the thread is different and you know don't mess it up this okay guys well let's go install this and let's see how it looks and how it works well guys as you guys can see everything is okay right except for this area right here QNAP what's going on you guys said this um, a video card is supposed to be compatible with this QNAP the 674 what's going on it's not even fit right here now if I push it right here it's gonna be like that but as you guys know that's that's look at that that's not gonna be not, it's not even getting in contact because i got that also i'm putting pressure on those wires now the thing i'm gonna do uh, i can I, I tried all, already this i fold this thing a little bit down and this on top but unfortunately it's coming out of the uh, frame and that's gonna i'm not gonna be able to close it the thing i'm gonna try to do is see i'm gonna connect this right now and see if it works and if it works I'm gonna make a cut right over here in order to make it fit right otherwise I don't see anything I don't want to return this because this one got a very very good review this is a professional car I hope I hope nothing happened to this otherwise I'm gonna get screwed up okay let's go and check it out and see if it works okay guys well there you have it uh, before you guys go to this system as soon as you install the uh, uh, motherboard First of all, you gotta go to control panel hardware right here and you guys will see basically the uh, card right here. Now, 
I'm gonna use QTS mode because that's basically that I want to use basically this card as a, the main card of this unit. But if I up press apply right now, it's gonna show up something right here saying that I need the drivers that, uh, as you guys can hear, are being installed right now. Right now, I'm installing the drivers from NVIDIA right here. And when I'm done, I'm gonna be able to select apply and it's gonna let me. Let's go and see how this installation is doing on the NAS. Okay, guys, so as you guys can hear, this little guy right here is making a lot of, lot of noise. Whoa. It's a lot, a lot of noise. And basically, it's installing the driveway right there. As you guys can see, take a look. I, I don't know, QNAP, what's going on with you guys saying that this is compatible. Uh, I'm going to make it compatible because, you know, this is absolutely not compatible with the hardware. With the uh, software in, 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 in itself, it is compatible. But unfortunately, with this connector right there, it's not compatible. Uh, I'm going to do, guys, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to remove just this thing right here. I'm going to cut it off. I know, I know, guys, don't, you guys don't do it. If you are like Christian, like, like me, okay, just do it. I already checked it out. This, I removed the screws in the front, and it's a hole right here that is not interfering with anything right there. Just I'm gonna cut this button right here. I don't, I don't wanna cut this area because right there is basically what a uh, serial number and everything from the car. But wow, this, this is a huge, huge uh, 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 driver. Yes, this is big. And look at how this thing is working. Wow. Honestly, I never see this thing working like that. And let's take a look right here in the front. Nothing, but so far it's, it's, uh, it's installing it. Let's go and see the computer. Yep, still working in it. Okay, let's go and let's install this and then we come back and see how it is working. All right, well now let's go to this resource monitor. And let's go right here and resource graphics card. And there you have it, guys. Right there is install QTS mod NVIDIA Corporation in QTS. And well, now let's go and remove the little plastic piece in the corner. And let's see how to get installed. I'm gonna turn it off the uh, the NAS. And let's go and do this right now. Okay guys, well, as you guys can see right here, let me get, okay, right here, I just, let me show you guys right here, hold on, okay, right there, I just mark it down where I need to be, uh, basically, uh, the cut, where it's supposed to be, it's nothing, and as you guys can see, I removed the, the uh, basic, basically the cover, and it's just this area right, it, right there in the corner. It's not even it's not even gonna interfere with that screw right there and uh, you know that's what I'm gonna do I not even have to cut this tab it's just here on the side and in order to install this one I prefer to do that I know it's kind of crazy guys but well let me go and do it and uh, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put this to the fire <laughs> yes I know I know I know it's crazy. I'm gonna put this to to uh, make a uh, hot cut, and with the temperature, I'm gonna do basically the cut right over here, and that's it. Are you guys thinking this guy is nuts? Maybe, but that's the only way I can make this guy fit over here. And I don't wanna put it the way it was. Okay, we're gonna finish right here. Gotta get a little bit more. All right, guys, we're gonna do the final cut basically right here. And that's it. Set. Okay, as you guys see, <laughs> it's not that beauty, but 
you know you guys can fix this with a little bit of sand I'm gonna show you guys it's gonna be almost like professional <laughs> okay okay as you guys can see you know I refinish uh, this area with uh, hold on let me get focus a little bit more yep you guys can see it right there uh, it's kind of hard to get focus right there it's scary my camera is not helping me out a little bit okay there you are all right uh, I just remove all the borders and you know I'm gonna use this sandpaper in order to finish it okay guys take a look of that baby now it fits now QNAP it is compatible as you guys can see it's not touching and it got a plenty room for the wires and everything and now it's compatible now it's completely flat to the surface basically nothing happened right here now probably now you guys can understand what I was doing this you know uh, if you got a good good card I think this is worth it because this is the best card for this for this QNA. now let's go and uh, well also to this guy right here this is basically the uh, the front and this is metal right here I'm gonna have to cut right there with uh, this guy right here and that's it let's put it together and see uh, in action again once again and let's go and do it right now guys alright guys well this is the job done and this is how it looks and well let's go and install this guy alright kinda of hard to get this piece focused it's not a big hole as you guys see everything inside the fan is completely covered there's no, no interference with nothing All right, now let's go and take a quick look and see the hardware. Well, first, let's go here right to dashboard and let's go to monitor resource and let's go to system resource, graphic cards, and assign to QTS as you guys can see right here. Basically, this beauty is doing everything right here. And let's go in control panel. Uh, let's go in hardware. Let's take a quick look to hardware resources. It's loading. Hardware resources. And here we are. We got this guy, hardware tran transcoding supported. And as I told you guys, it's gonna be here in QTS mode. All right, that's it. Everything is ready. And let me let me go. And let me just go and see if I can see a video from Q Maggie. Why not? You know what? Let's go. Let me go. Just close this, and let's go and check it out. Any of the uh, uh, okay, video station. 
Penny 4K. Let me see. Uh, gotta see something recent. A recent video. See how it looks like. Think. Let's go and play this one. And zero delayed. Usually, uh, when I was using the uh, CPU, says uh, transcoding to um, 1080p or 720, or if I want a uh, original, now is not saying anything because it's using basically, uh, you see, streaming the original file zero transcoding let's put the original right there just in case how it works and this is the same but it's no need because basically it's using the resources of the uh, uh, NVIDIA card and that's amazing guys I love this guy well this is the good thing if you guys want a, a stream four five four k videos um, at the same time well this is the car for it this is the best this is professional grade that's what i took the risk to cut that little corner right there because if i return this card i have to get another one cheaper that is not going to perform the same way as this one guys i hope you guys uh, like this video and guys stay tuned because guys do you think I can transform this 11-year-old uh, gaming computer in a basic, basically brand new computer, getting uh, the latest uh, uh, motherboard, not the newest newest, but something good like the Tomahawk, and install it in this one using a uh, uh, 12 generation i7 uh, uh, CPU. Well guys, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to fix a old computer and make it like new and you know, you can make run this guy like a, you know, one of the best things in the world. Alright guys, well, stay tuned and thank you very much, God bless you, subscribe, I hope you like it and see you guys in 